let's start again with the main light and uh uh, or actually, let's start with the fill light since we've turned off shadows, which we're going to want to do again, and copy that and bring it around to the back side of the ball. All right, so here it is. That's the rim light, and let's let's just crank it up. and And because the fill light is really supposed to wash out a very thin part of the ball, we're going to crank this up to an intensity of about five. Um, and, and really, from a positioning standpoint, uh, we can now see it in the camera view here uh, that we're just getting light on this back edge here, which is exactly what we want for a rim light. Um, but it might be covering too much at this point. Um, so what we're going to do is bring it in, focus it in a little bit more, uh, and get it. It might be too high. So there we go, because we just want a nice little crescent moon of a rim around the back. So there we go, we're starting to get it. Um, and let's even crank it up to a seven. Um, and let's go ahead and render that and see what we get. Um, we're getting pretty close. Uh, again, because I cop copied it off the the, f uh, the fill light, it's a little bit bluish. So let's go back and we'll make it a, a warmer tone again um, to balance out that cool side. Uh, and let's go for less of a yellow, more of a reddy, orangey um, feel to it. Um, and see what we get. All right, so it's it's picking up a nice edge on the side there, um, uh, which is exactly what we want. However, um, it's lightening up this uh, this tabletop uh, way too much. It's not going to look good in the scene. So, one of the things that again, uh, like uh, taking shadows off a of light, what we can do is include or exclude lights from certain objects in your scene and that's why we're going to use uh, that tool here so i'm going to pick this light and you see this button called exclude what we're going to do is exclude uh the table um and the the this the table's uh, leg from from that light so it only light the the sphere so we're going to do exclude that exclude that hit okay uh, and now when we render it You'll see that it's only affecting the ball, and in fact, you know we're we're washing out a majority of the parts of it. But let's actually um, let's actually even turn up the multiplier a bit more. Let's go to nine. Let's see what we get. All right, so we're starting to get a nice nice rim around there. Uh, you know, I think that's exactly what we want. So we'll go back in and fill in again from what we remember of the scene. So uh, the fill was a point two. The uh, main was a 1. And let's see what our results are. All right, that's, so that's starting to come around uh, quite nicely now. Um, we got the main light here. we got the coming around to the fill light. Uh, and then we have a nice rim. And you can notice that um, from where we started for that default lighting, uh, that really the, the objects, are, uh, the soccer ball is really now sitting on that that table and it looks nice it feels 3d uh, feels natural um and i think you know we're off to a good start um one last thing which doesn't necessarily fall into three-point lighting which is really an add-on and a bonus here um uh, is, a, is a contact shadow and a contact shadow really is that very small rim around a place where a particular object in a scene meets another object, in this case, the soccer ball meets the tabletop. Um, and it's something that's very difficult for uh, the standard 3D program renders, scanline renders, to compute. Um, so what you see is the, the, the shadow that's being casted at the very point from which the ball uh, meets the table is the same color as it is out here. And in real life, uh, this would be much darker under here. So what we actually do is add a, a fourth light into the scene um, that's going to suck away uh, light or, or what we call a negative light. Uh, and we're going to basically fake a contact shadow. So um, let's add a, a, a new spotlight, a new target spot into the scene. And we'll use the, the left side and I'll just start it directly overhead um, of the ball and go down and then adjust its position um, uh, from the top view and make sure it's directly in the center. And we're going to move it over directly to the center. Oop. There we go. 
Uh, in this particular case, this light, uh, we want to have a very small fall off. Uh, so we want most of it just to be the, the hot spot. So we're going to bring out the hot spot so it's the same size. And then we're going to shrink it down to what we think the size of the contact shadow will be. Uh, and in this particular case, it's not going to be a multiplier of 1. It's going to be a multiplier of negative 1. Um, and again, we don't want it because it's above the ball. It'll hit most of the ball. So what we're going to do is exclude um, the ball from this particular light and just have it hit the tabletop. Oh, there we go. And let's see what we get. All right. So you see exactly what it's doing. It's sucking light instead of in, in, instead of an, a positive intensity. It's a negative intensity and bringing light away. So uh, from a placement standpoint, we're doing all right. Uh, it looks a little bit big uh, and a little too dark from what we need at this point. So let's go back into that light and let's do a 0 0.5. Let's see what kind of negative intensity that gives us. Um, and maybe just increase, decrease the hot spot a tad and see what we get. All right, so we're starting to see it might be actually a little not enough at this point. So bring that hot spot back up. And 0.75 for a negative, negative 0.75 for an intensity. All right, we're getting close. We're getting real close here. So, 0.6 for an intensity. All right, let's just shrink it up a bit. Getting close. Just shrink it a tad more. There's a side view. All right, now we're talking. So it actually might be a tad too small at this point. So let's just bring the fall off up a bit. All right, so right at the point of contact, uh, you could see this really dark ring around here. And that really places that ball right on the scene there. Um, so. Uh, what I'm going to do here is save this file out. Uh, we're going to call it Soccer Ball 3 Point Finish, and you'll be able to see yourself how the lights are set up, um, and you can refer to it after you, you do the tutorial as well.